Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. We are doing a timeless reading for you today. This is messages in regards to attracting abundance into your life. This is messages from angels, spirits, guides on your journey. With this being a timeless reading, uh, whenever this reading happens to find you is when you're meant to see it, whether it's the day that I've posted it or years from now. So you may find a couple of messages in here may resonate with you or perhaps the entire thing. We're going to see what messages do come out, words of motivation, maybe see what blocks, maybe there are some advice that comes up about abundance in your life. Abundance is, of course, more than money, okay? It can be opportunities, it can be love, it can be connections, right? Whatever that is, just a whole lot of something that you want in your world. So let's see what we've got here for you. We've got block out distractions. Okay, so you may need to really be focused and have uh, give your undivided attention to something. Okay, sometimes we need just to get started. Sometimes we need to take a step back from our um, from our current situation or our current world. We need to clear our mind, clear our head, uh, just that so we can quiet our mind a little bit. So we're not overthinking, overanalyzing. We just need to connect back with our higher self. But this is really spirit saying here as well that your uh, priorities, your life purpose, okay, um, you may need to really focus on that, okay? Take charge of your environment, take charge of your time, your schedule, maybe put up some boundaries there. Um, maybe limit your time on your phone, your screen time, because, you know, your uh, spiritual self may need a little bit of attention there, okay? So really focus on what is important and, you know, to really uh, block them out, but not, uh, I would say, no, I don't really like to use, I don't love actually to use the word block, okay, uh, when we want to block things out, um, you know, because then nothing can get in, okay, I like to prefer the word um, boundaries, okay, so put up some very healthy boundaries so that you can reclaim a little bit of time to connect with yourself, your higher self, to uh, set some intentions, to focus on your goals, to get started with things without all kinds of distractions all around you, okay, and put some time limits maybe on some, uh, you know, TV or phone or, you know, even family, right, try and find a way to get a little bit of time out for yourself, just so you can maintain a little bit better of a focus. And we have quiet retreat coming in here also. Okay, so disconnect from the world. Wow. Okay, so maybe you're really busy here, guys, you might have a lot on the go, you might have a lot of things that you want to do or that you need to do or that you're forced to do. All right, and spirits really trying to get your attention here. Okay, um, because we do need to kind of focus on things, right? Sometimes we, our energy is spread too thin. Our attention is spread a little bit too thin. So spirits really trying to get you to connect with your higher self, with your inner world, to get some quiet time for yourself, because there's, I think there's some messages that are coming in here for you. Okay. Your spirits trying to guide you, trying to give you some information and you may not necessarily be seeing it right now. Okay. Because there are all of these, uh, distractions around you. Okay. So repeating message here for you right out right out of the gate okay quiet your energy find some time to spend with yourself to meditate or just have that little bit of quiet time somewhere even if it's a walk around the block um you know even if it's just 15 minutes you know five minutes even it's better than nothing just to quiet your mind so that the rest of your senses can um you know can expand and that you can connect with yourself in a different way Maybe the abundance that you're looking for is quiet time. All right. But we also have gratitude list coming in here also for you guys. So, uh, you know, whenever we are, whenever we practice gratitude, okay, we count our blessings. We are great. We are grateful for what we already have. The good, the bad, and the ugly, right? We can still be grateful for challenging experiences that we've overcome because they are the building blocks of life. But in this moment, in the here, in the now, spirit really wants you to know that you may need to take a little bit of time out each day, five minutes, two minutes, one minute, okay, to be thankful. Practice gratitude. 
be thankful for what you have in your life. Be thankful for the sun on your face, for the oxygen that you breathe. Be thankful uh, that your brain keeps your body ticking and you don't need to think about it. Um, be grateful for all the little things, right? We quite often give gratitude for the big things that happen in our life, but we neglect the small things. So when we focus on gratitude and we're thankful for everything uh, that we already have, we center our energy, we're a little bit more focused, we actually come into the realization that, hey, you know what, I actually do have a lot of things to be grateful for. And it kind of kickstarts a different way of thinking about things. And whatever we are thankful for, when we practice gratitude, more things that we want to be thankful for blossom and grow in our lives right? Wherever we put our attention, wherever we put our focus and our energy is what expands. So be thankful for all of those little things. Be thankful that you have an internet connection. You can watch, uh, you know, you can watch uh, YouTube on your phone, right? All of those things, no matter how big, how small. You want to expand your, uh, expand uh, the things that you want to be thankful for in your world, okay? So sometimes it can be writing a list down, sure, or you can just sit there and you can just quiet your quiet your energy, you know, go for it, go outside, whatever that looks like to you, okay, just to say, thank you, universe, for this. I'm grateful for this. And even people in our lives, right, we can tell people in our lives how grateful and thankful we are for them as well. And then we get more people to be thankful for. All right, so uh, let's see what other messages that we've got coming out here for you guys. I think, I think you guys are really busy, okay? We're getting this very busy kind of energy, or at least a distracted energy. Uh, we have awakening coming in here. This is the hanged man energy. Take a step back, okay? You something you need to let go of, something where you might need to um, you know, you might need to give something up in order to gain something. Okay. Take a pause in the action. Uh, the hanged man energy, or in this case, awakening energy out of this deck is where we do take that step back and where we let something go. We surrender to the forces of the universe, but we also, uh, you know, really kind of let the thing, certain things go that are distracting us in our world because when we do that, we take a pause, we take a time out, okay, we let certain things go, that's where the energy starts to flow. There's something blocking you here, okay, and it could just be that there's so many distractions around you that nothing else can get in, okay, you're, uh, think of, um, you know, think of a a glass filled with water, and but the water is warm. It's at the top of your glass, right? You can't add anything to it, right? You got to let something out first, right? You want cold water, but the only way to get cold water is to add ice. There's no more room for the ice, okay? Is to get what it is you want. So there's something here where spirit's saying, I'm trying to show you the way. I'm trying to bring you in abundance into your life. I'm trying to open doors for you. I'm trying to give you some clarity, but there's something here you got to let go of some distractions. You got to put up some boundaries. You got to take that step back or take that time out um, for yourself. And that's when you'll get those answers. You'll get the epiphany. You'll see your way forward. You'll see the doors opening for you. You'll see the opportunities that are blossoming in your world. The high priestess makes an appearance here as well. A quiet contemplative energy. Spirit's really trying to really try to quiet you um, down a little bit. Okay. So the high priestess is uh, a, an energy of meditation, of quiet contemplation, of turning within, of trusting our intuition, of connecting with our higher selves, connecting with moon cycles, connecting with all of these things, being open, being receptive uh, to different things. So open, open, okay? Right now, there's a lot of things going on in your world and you might be a little bit closed off. So the hanged man here, the awakening energy, it's about being open, seeing the big picture, seeing different experiences, okay, being open to different things coming your way. The high priestess is that quiet contemplative energy, right? We're connecting with our feminine side of being open and receptive. So, you know, and, but also our intuition, something's trying to guide you, something's trying to lead you, something's trying to come in here for you and it can't, okay, it's blocked. So the high priestess is also that invitation to step back, to connect, to meditate, 
okay, to listen to your higher self. You've got some, uh, your inner wisdom is probably already guiding you and leading you. You may already know this might be an old news story for you a little bit, okay, but because this story is still coming up, there's something that you still haven't accomplished there, okay? Sometimes we know certain things, but we don't do anything about it, okay? Um, this is also a uh, conservative approach. The high priestess is not an action-oriented energy, neither is the hanged man. So this may not necessarily be the time for outward actions. This is a time of quiet contemplation and connection and getting to the point where you know what you want or you can hear what you're being guided towards. So your intuition is certainly trying to show you the way. Once we quiet our energy, once we get the answers, once we kind of take a step back from things, put up boundaries, okay, all of these things, once we get the answers that we're looking for, we get that clarity, that sense of purpose, boom, baby, that's when things start to happen in our world. The Eight of Wands is an energy where, yes, there's a lot going on, okay, so again, there's a lot going on, okay? The Eight of Wands is about abundance, all right? However, it is also one of forward movement. It is also one where once we know what we want, then we can take action. We can multitask. We can move forward. We can manifest things into our world. And, you know, so, uh, but first, contemplate, focus, know what we want, and then take those actions. Okay, but also if we're setting intentions for manifestations, first we set the intentions, we're very clear, we connect, okay, and then our intentions all shoot out into the universe. And that's where the magic happens. That's where a lot of things happen behind the scenes. Okay, so, but the eight of, uh, the eight of wands is also about abundance here as well. Okay, so there may be things, some things that you need to change and there may also be things that you need to clear out so that the changes that you want can come in. But the eight of wands being about abundance in and, uh, in and of itself is spirit reminding you here as well, be thankful for all of the abundance you already have in your world so that more can come in. And we forget to do that, okay? But that's the repeating message. The Eight of Wands is a very positive omen, okay, in regards to attracting abundance and opportunities and things into your life, okay? There's a lot of magic happening behind the scenes. So be thankful and grateful. Quiet your energy. Be ready to receive, okay? Let go of certain things that are causing you a little bit of stress or grief uh, or wherever you're spreading your energy too thin. We've got the Seven of Swords coming out. The Empress. Nice. We've got the High Priestess and then the Empress. The Empress attracts abundance. See? Retreat. Retreat. Quiet your energy. Meditate. Contemplate. Get in connection with your higher self. The High Priestess. There's something there for you. Okay? When we set our intentions, when we take a conservative approach, when we take that step back, we open up our energy and then boom, the abundance flows towards you. Okay? We can create the things that we really want to create in our world. And then that's when things change. We've got the Death card, right? So something, it, something needs to be let go of so something new can come in. The Seven of Swords here. There may be some confusions or some doubts or some fears or something, some old story, okay? Something here that is preventing you from, um, you know, attracting in what it is you want or from hearing the messages that you need to hear. There may also be something in your environment that you don't quite trust, okay? Or something that's causing you a little bit of grief, Okay, so when we have the awakening energy there, this is taking a step back and really thinking about what it is that we want. The Seven of Swords, we can, maybe you don't trust yourself, okay? Or maybe you don't trust the universe. So there may be some trust issues that you've got somewhere along the way. The Seven of Swords can also be um, something from the past, okay? Or even something in your present moment. You're not where you wanna be, things aren't right. For you right now, you want something a little bit better, but there's maybe some doubts that come in there with that Seven of Swords. So there really is an, a, a necessary um, energy there to take that step back, 
to look at things from all angles, look at the big picture. Sometimes the seven of swords, right? We get in the energy where we don't have what we want right now. Things aren't quite right with the world. Um, you know, we lose faith a little bit here. Okay. And we need to start to tell ourselves a different story. We need to keep the positive mindset and let go of some negativity. Okay. Tell yourself a good story, not the bad story. Okay. Tell yourself that, um, a story of abundance and positivity. Okay. All the things that you want to attract into your life and let go of anything else that's not serving you with that. Okay. You also need to be clear. The seven of, uh, seven of swords can also sometimes be a little bit of uncertainty okay it's like you don't trust yourself maybe or you know you're just a little bit unsure okay it's like do I want this oh there's still this over here okay so you might need to really just focus um, your energy there again might be a little bit scattered but the Empress here is wonderful wonderful energy for creation for attracting um, new things into your life for expanding opportunities okay to attract all of this wonderful abundance so first we contemplate and then we create whatever you start on, wherever you put your energy and your focus. Okay, this is what you're attracting into your life and this is what blossoms and grows. This is a wonderful time for you to um, get started on something. Okay, so whatever that looks like for you. The Empress is all about love, the um, connection with your emotions, but also about being open and receptive. Open and receptive, open and receptive, open and receptive on many different levels. Okay, so be open to different experiences. And Spirit's really trying to get you into that energy there where you're blocking out your distractions so that you can be in full-on receiving mode. Maybe you're just in giving mode right now and you're giving too much because the Empress can can certainly be about self-love, self-care as well. Putting yourself first, putting your own needs first um, in certain areas, okay? But there's a lot of things that are blossoming in your life. Things are about to change for you, okay? Embrace some change. The death card here is Scorpio energy. And this is about cutting away anything that no longer serves you. Old, outdated belief systems, um, old ways of thinking, areas, things in your life that are not... Um, uh, that are blocking you or distracting you or that are taking away all of your time and energy um, and not in the best of ways either. Okay, it's time to start something new. There's growth, there's transformation, there's things happening behind the scenes here, okay? So uh, it's time to embrace the new. You gotta make room for the new, for the abundance to come in, all right? And all of these changes are all available for you. The abundance is is there, it's available for you. What are you attracting? Where do you wanna grow? What do you wanna create, okay? All of these things, it's here and it's in the here and now but you need to see it, okay? Or you need to be open and receptive to receive it, all right? We always want to attract all these things into our life, but we got to be ready, all right? So let's see a couple last messages coming out here for you. So you may need to do something differently when we have the death card there. This may be something that you need to change, change your mindset, change your environment, change the way you do things, okay? But there's also really positive change on the horizon for you as well. So let's get a couple last messages here. One last message. Thank you. All right. And here is the first one. And there it is. And we have the blessing of creativity. Well, hello, Empress. Express your, yourself creatively and reconnect with your inner child. As ideas and inspiration surface, express them without thought, censorship, censorship excuse me, or judgment. Don't try and make sense of things. Just allow, just feel, just be. This is a time where all is possible. You are limited only by what you think is impossible. Namaste. Very important message for you there. Here is your final message. And we have a blessed idea. See, there's ideas, there's inspiration, there's creativity. But you need, to, you need the time, right? An idea manifest, manifests endless blessings, but you must act to bring the idea to life. The time is right. Know that the world is full of ideas floating around aimlessly until someone notices and breathes life into them. This is your time to shine. Have faith. 
going to leave that there for you. I hope there was something here that resonated. If there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.